I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. Tell me honestly, who in their right mind thought this was a good idea to release as is and for whom was it made for? Money. Definitely not the casual movie goer. Not any comic fans I know. I mean, who is even a Madam Web fan? Where is the fan base for this Z-list character? Does she even have a comic to her name? Who are you? What about you? Did you like this movie? Come on now, dawg. I like trash, but this? Damn! Welcome back to Under the African Sun. I'm your friendly African NPC, and welcome to the channel. Look, I have a ton of reasons why I think this movie failed so spectacularly. As the old saying goes, you can't polish a turd. But I think if these three reasons were addressed, at least you'd be on Morbius low. Something I can watch while I'm shit-faced at 3am cooking a whole ass entire meal. What's your name? From the studio that bought you iconic villains like Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin and Alfred Molina's Dark Ark, killing it in the animated features and even some unexpected gems with Marvel's adjacent productions in Michael Keaton's tombs, then comes Ezekiel Sims. I'm well aware Sony doesn't strike gold always, but like was it ever this bad? I've seen puddles with more depth than the dude. Okay, you have nightmares of being murked by three girls in tights, but like, bro, I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you, <laughs> we don't care. Bro, the protagonist didn't even know about you for 30 years. Like, hypothetically. What if Ezekiel Sims raised Cassandra after killing her mom, obviously after resisting with the spider, and he lies to Cassie all her life? Until she finds out that Ezekiel is trying to kill three innocent girls because of his visions and she makes it her mission to save them. Along the way, she activates her powers when Ezekiel chooses to try and kill the girls rather than save Cassie from drowning. Huh? A. Cassie is immediately a heroic character. B. There's a plausible link to Cassie and more personal stakes. C. Ezekiel is like 10 times more evil. Look, I don't need Ezekiel to be the next Joker or Thanos. Nobody expected that from you. But this telenovela sounding motherfucker just ain't it. I don't know much of Tahar Rahim's work, but goddamn fam, I hope that check was worth it. I don't like where this is going. Senor Sims here fails on so many levels you wonder how he even got here. If this guy was in a villain academy, he'd fail first year. Ben and Mary aren't who you're after. But how about a hostage exchange? America does it all the time. So you're gonna tell me you learned nothing even with the NSA at your fingertips? Listen here friend. It would seem the real crime you're guilty of is thinking you're special. I don't think any villain has taken as many L's as you have in recent memory. What's her face from the Marvels at least wanted to jumpstart a son or whatever. But at least I knew what she cared about. You care about your cool apartment and government equipment. Sure thing, Grandpa. What if Madame Webb is a story some old grandpa is telling his grandkid in some apartment in Queens? Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. You know when you thought you had forgotten something, then life puts an insane reminder that it ends up haunting you more than you thought possible? Yeah, that's me right now. In simpler terms, last I saw Dakota Johnson in anything was the Fifty Shades of Grey movies. So when I say I see too much of Anastasia Steele in Cassie, I don't just mean the absolute wooden acting. No hate to Dakota or anything. I just haven't seen you in anything since you're being spanked by Can you not? But it's the truth. So just watch another movie of hers. I don't know any. Ask them. Oh guys, you know any Dakota Johnson movies? Good ones. Comment down below and I'll check them out. So right. Cassie 
Actually, as a matter of fact, let's do this. I get you're not happy, but to channel Plank wasn't called for. You got paid for this. A tiny bit of effort would have gone, well, not far, but better than opening a can of Pepsi for more than it took for my pubes to come in. Daddy, chill. Is it a Cassie thing or a Dakota thing? Because if it's next level acting and I just don't get the deep characterization because of my small brain. You're still wrong, bro. I guess if most of the stars of the movie you are in are trashing the flick at most interviews, the problem is deeper than just one actor. Someone didn't do their job and we paid for it. Great. And it happens a lot in Hollywood. Kinda sucks. Listen, Cassie. Just because you're an orphan doesn't mean you have to be an asshole. How do you save someone's mom and not relate as to why they are thanking you? Even when you finally learn your lesson, I don't think you earned it. You suck, but I'm glad you didn't throw away the drawing the kid gave you. I don't even know how someone wrote you with such negative redeeming features. I mean, you're like super mean, bro. You hate your mom for like no reason. You could have gone to investigate Peru at any time before this. You barely try to save your friend when you have your powers. Nobody would give up as fast as you did. Hell, strange from what if, try till it broke his universe. I'm not saying to do the same, but bro, y'all killed Mike Epps character for like no reason. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. You put your friend with a pregnant as hell Mary in direct danger. Like, if Ezekiel wasn't dumb, Peter was gonna be born in captivity. That just sounds... <laughs> I know. Cassandra Webb, I think the spider may have taken something away from you in exchange for the gifts you got. Hey, who's got the jerky? You ate it all. I can give you two reasons why this movie should have been about Sidney Sweeney's character's origin story. And I guarantee this movie would have made at least a profit at the box office. But we don't like nice things. So now I have to complain like everybody else on the internet. Yeah, I'm not special. It is what it is. So the girls suck. Oh, pause. They have nothing beyond their character descriptions. I can't even be bothered to remember their names. So the rich one, the gifted one, and the smart one. Or should we go for illegal immigrants? There really isn't much in the way of a choice, is there? The movie suffers from a serious lack of connecting threads between all of its main characters. And the girls probably suffer the most as they feel like a plot device rather than people. Also, what is with the absolute murder of Ezekiel by their future selves? The gifted one straight up kicks him out of a window and they just watch him fall. Now, Spider-Man ain't no Batman with the no-killing rule so strong it would give Vibranium a run for its money. But he's no Punisher who will kill you for robbing a liquor store. What I'm trying to say is most Spider characters aren't gung-ho on just offing people. With the strength they wield, they could snap you in half, Bane style, without using the knee. So this clear murder has me thinking J. Jonah Jameson is having a field day. Well, at least in that future timeline. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting from these girls who just left a whole ass fire lit in the middle of the forest. Stupid! Seems like Smokey the Bay is dealing with more than just stupid ass gender reveal fires. Remember the California fires? Yeah. Those times were wild. Can someone explain to me how gender reveal parties go? Since there's at least 69 genders these days? I'm asking for a friend. I mean, the logistics. Yeah. Wow. He's on a tangent. Everyone's so creative. He won't be back for a minute. Most of the good ideas involving girls were probably left on the cutting room floor. And there will definitely not be a sequel, so... We can only guess, and I'm definitely not doing that. They should have definitely shown us a lot of what the girls went through. Show us the immigrant girl losing her dad to deportation. 
Show us the rich girl being neglected by her parents. Show us Sydney Sweeney's tip. What are you doing? Nothing. Uh, here's the next section. Bro, were you talking about Sydney Sweeney's poop? Stop it. Get some help. At this point, Sony should just give back the rights to the Spider-Man characters. Are you sure about that? I'm tired of all these spin-offs of Spider-Man characters without Spider-Man. These movies are like playing football without a goalkeeper. It can be done, but everyone in their cat will tell you it's a bad idea. Learn from my silly analogy, Sony. Just sell back the rights to Disney before it gets really bad. You serious? I have a movie to see, and y'all have more videos to watch. Your YouTube journey doesn't end here. Thanks for watching the video and dropping by to show some love. Like and subscribe for more content. And I've been your African NPC. This is Under the African Sun, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.